मॉडरेटर ने बड़ी अच्छी बात की आई कैन सी देर इज नॉट दैट लेवल ऑफ एनर्जी आई डोंट सी दैट लेवल ऑफ कनेक्शन बिटवीन ऑडियंस एंड स्पीकर आई डोंट नो पता नहीं उन्होंने आप लोगों को चाय सर्व नहीं की या कोई टी ब्रेक नहीं हुआ या कोई बातों में कोई आप लोगों को इतनी ज़्यादा या ये सारी मालूम आपके पास पहले से हैं तो आप लोग शायद उसमें दिलचस्पी नहीं ले रही दूसरी बात यह है कि सिर्फ ये मुबारकबाद का दिन आप खुतिन के लिए उन खुतिन के लिए नहीं है जो सिर्फ शहरों में बैठी हैं मैं उन खुतिन को भी मुबारकबाद देता हूँ आलमी दिन के हवाले से जो इस वक्त गाँव कूचों गलियों में जो हमारे गाँव में इस वक्त उनको ये भी पता नहीं है कि खुतिन का आलमी दिन मनाया जा रहा है और आज भी वो लकड़ियाँ चुन रही हैं मुख्तलिफ जगहों पर आज भी ऐसी खुतिन हैं मैं उनको भी मुबारकबाद पेश करता हूँ बलोचिस्तान में पाकिस्तान समेत पूरी दुनिया में जो इस वक्त मीलों दूर जाके जो है अपने बच्चों के लिए अपने घर वालों के लिए जाकर जानवरों पर या खुद अपने कंधे पर जो है वो पानी फैच कर रहे होते हैं कहीं से पानी ला रहे होते हैं मैं मुबारकबाद देता हूँ उन खुतिन को भी बलोचिस्तान में जहाँ पर सालाना कोई तकरीबन एक हज़ार दो सौ एक हज़ार तीन सौ के करीब आउट ऑफ वन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड वोमेंस दे डाई बिकॉज ऑफ मैटरनल मोटिलिटी यानी जचगी और बचगी की सहूलियात ना होने की वजह से जो औरतें वफात पाती हैं या शहीद हो जाती हैं ये ये दिन उनके उनको भी याद करने के हवाले से है मैं मुबारकबाद देता हूँ उन बच्चियों को भी बलोचिस्तान में जो दस लाख बच्चियाँ इस वक्त स्कूल से महरूम हैं वो भी मुबारकबाद और तोज्जो के मुस्तक हैं इस दिन के हवा से इस दिन की मुनासबत के हवाले से मैं मुबारकबाद देता हूँ उन खुतिन को औरतों को जो जेंडर वायलेंस जिसको आप कहते हैं कि देर आर डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ वायलेंस एंड सम ऑफ दैम मेन मे बी नोन बट समफ दैम आर मे बी नॉट नोन टू अस मैं उन खुतिन को भी मुबारकबाद पेश करना चाहता हूँ जो बड़ी खामोशी से हमारे इस मर्दों के जबर को तकलीफ को अपने घर में सहते हैं और अपनी एक आवाज़ भी ऊपर नहीं कर सकते वो भी इस खुतिन के दिन के हवाले से मुबारकबाद और तोज्जो के मुस्तक है मैं मैं मुबारकबाद देता हूँ उन खुतिन और बच्चियों को भी जिन्होंने अपने रस्म रिवाज तोड़ कर अली स्कूलों में यूनिवर्सिटियों में कॉलेजों में जाके तालीम हासिल की लेकिन डिग्री हासिल करने के बाद उनको माशरे में कोई रिकगनीशन कोई एम्पावरमेंट या एम्प्लॉयमेंट नहीं मिली दोज गर्ल्स एंड वुमेंस आर आल्सो डिज़र्व आवर अटेंशन इसके अलावा बलोचिस्तान इज़ नॉट डिफरेंट फ्राम रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बट इट्स सम हाउ डिफरेंट इन इन रियलिटी इन फैक्चुअल जो चीज़ें हैं उसमें अगर देखा जाए तो दे आर आर देर आर टू मच डिफ्रेंसिस आई डोंट कॉल इट डिस्क्रमिनेशन बट लेकिन आपको बहुत ज़्यादा तफरीक और तफरुका नज़र आएगा फिर बलोचिस्तान में जब हम आते हैं दैन वी कैन ऑब्जर्व वी कैन सी कि खुतिन पर एक और लेवल तक उनके पास जेंडर डिस्क्रमिनेशन हो रही है एंड दैट इज़ इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइज जेंडर डिस्क्रमिनेशन which is area i think most of you as a social activist as women activist as research as academia i think you need to work on this area as well that there is a continuously in our system in our political system in our governance system in our not in our culture but in our attitude there is institutionalized gender discrimination against women let me give you a very brief example there are 13000 13600 and that schools in balochistan and out of that only very few thousand schools are for girls out of 13000 there are only 3000 something schools for girls so the discrimination against women is starts from the very beginning jab wo paida hoti hai jab wo 2 se 3 saal ki ho jati hai jab wo school jane ka and that is she is a woman she is our future woman she is a girl maybe she is infant at that time but definitely that's our future to so we start gender discrimination against our girls our women from the very beginning and it's institutionalized it's not tribal it's not cultural it's the governance systems the structure we discriminate our women to jab pure balochistan mein 13600 mein se 3200 ke kareeb school bachiyon ke liye hongi do you expect any empowerment in this type of discriminatory regime discriminatory structure in discriminatory society the empowerment aspect comes later first of all as an experts as researchers as political representatives as a policy maker we have to understand and we have to understand the fault lines 
that create this level of discrimination, that create this level of gender disparity in our society. And those, without talking, without understanding, without uh, what they call it, critically analyzing that gender fault lines, that fault lines that create gender discrimination, I think you won't be able to address women issues, a woman rights issues, women empowerment issues. So we will see all the fault lines that we will see that these are the things that we will see. Now Motorma has come to gender based violence. There was a long list of details. This violence is happening, this violence is happening. From the car, from the house, from the school, from the college. There are different types of violence. And I think from economic empowerment, my brother, FAO, Ahmad Jan is sitting there. I can't see him. Ahmad is sitting there? Okay, he is sitting there very far. I was happy to see some, some of interventions from UNHCR, from uh, FAO, with regard to women empowerment. But these are very minute in a society, Balochistan, 3,47,000 square kilometer per mushtamil hai. In this vast area, around uh, 12 million population, and out of 12 million population, takriban amare haan, yesi tarah hai, 50-50 hai, agar koi ek do person ka kami beshi hai, 66 million are women out of, one, uh, out of 12 million. So when for 60 million women, these small and small, they may be kind of a, what do we say, that we have a little bit of a light, or we give a road map, that how to uh, introduce some interventions to empower women at different level. Educated, less educated, a very plain, these are, these are some, of, some of the examples. But, Jab tak amne institutionalized gender discrimination ke fault lines ko address nahi kiya hai, am har saal yahan par khawateen ka almi din mana rahe honge aur lakho ki tadad mein khawateen is din ki ahmiyat se bhe khabar ho kar aaj bhi violence ka shikar ho rahi honge, aaj bhi ja ke jo hai kuhen se dur daraz kuhon se jo hai peene ka paani apne bachon ke liye la rahe honge. آج بھی خواتین ہیں جو ڈپریشن کا شکار ہیں جنہوں نے ماسٹرز بیچلرز کی ہوں گے ان کو نوکریاں نہیں ملتی کیونکہ بکوز وی ہے فکسٹ کوٹا فر دیم وائی کوٹا دی آر نٹ ڈیفرنٹ دی آر نٹ ڈیفرنٹ یومن بینگز دی آر سیم سو وائی وی کریئٹ کوٹاز فر وومن لیٹ دیم ٹو کمپیٹ اینڈ کریئٹ دیٹ انوائرمنٹ ویر وومن ایز اپورچونیٹیز ٹو انیبل دیم سیلز وی ہیو ٹو کریئٹ دیٹ انیبلنگ اپورچونیٹیز جہاں پہ وومن ایز دا اپورچونیٹی ٹو کمپیٹ جب when you give only 3,000 schools out of 13,000 schools to women, and then you think that the women will be empowered in future, from the very beginning you are killing our future, our ideas, our opportunities to grow intellectually. So these things are the things that we have not addressed until now. I have been to many places like, uh, Anders, you come from uh, which part of Kenya, uh, Africa? From Ghana, my favorite country place. I used to travel from Ghana a lot because I was based in Sierra Leone. I was, I was working, but I've been to Ghana as well two, three times when I was working on the Constitutional Review Project. So Sierra Leone is in West Africa as well. So I have observed that women who are there, though they are underdeveloped countries, but I, I think maybe Andres in his speech is going to explain some of the areas or maybe highlight some of the uh, opportunities, some of the interventions that the Western Africa, the East Africa, the South Africa, the North Africa, they have introduced. Waha par logon ko, khawateen ko, abhi hum samajhte hain ki dunia baut piche rahe gai, dunia baut aage nikal gai. Agar piche rahe gai hai, to am rahe gai hai. Aur hum mein bhi sab se zyada Balochistan rahe gai hai. Us ki wajah ye hai ki logon ne apne fault lines ko, bimari ko, apne maashre ka samjha. Us ko address karne ki koshish ki. Aur us ke liye resources, wo bhi اس کے لیے ریسورسز بھی انہوں نے الوکیٹ کر دیئے اور اس کے پاس پولٹیکل کمیٹمنٹ بھی ہے تو there are two, three things that we need as a leadership یہاں پر جو بیٹھی ہے institutional leadership ہے political leadership is here ڈاکٹر ربابہ صاحبہ ماشاءاللہ she's very well informed woman she knows everything about health, maternal mortality یہ ساری چیزیں مجھ سے زیادہ اچھی جانتی ہیں مجبین شیران صاحبہ comes from a region جہاں مکران میں وہاں پر عورتوں میں شہور بہت ہے لیکن اپرچونٹی نہیں ہے اگر صرف آپ شہور ہے نالج ہے کمیٹمنٹ ہے ویلنگنس ہے 
they are ready to participate in the overall process of our society. Wo governance may perform karna chahti hai, wo economy may perform karna chahti hai. I would like to give you a very small example how institutional gen gender discrimination, discrimination take place, takes place. If a woman goes to a bank, she will ask for a loan. First, you have to empower women, chalo, education, they have to do If a woman wants to be economically empowered, she wants to start a job, she wants to start a shop, a, 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 some kind of a boutique, a business, or something. Usko shower nahi deta, uske ghar wale nahi dete, uske bai nahi dete. Jab wo kisi bank pe jata hai, the first thing they will ask him ki ji, aap apna zameen ke kagazat le aayin. Our society, mein, tribally, culturally, we have never done a single person who has a woman's name. So where will the woman fulfill the requirement of the bank? In society, mein, state, mein, create barriers in society, the state creates barriers for you to create different levels. And until you don't try to understand them, you will say that when you go to the bank, there will be two women in the bank. Give this power to women. When you go to the bank, you don't have to give this power to women. You don't have to give this power to women. عورت کو کہیں جب آپ بینک میں آئیں گے کرزے کے لیے کاروبار کے لیے تو آپ کو جو ہے انتقال اور کتونی کی ضرورت نہیں ہے آپ کی ایسیت دو مردوں کے برابر ہے دے دیں یہ ایسیت until unless you don't give this power to women کہ وہ confidently جائے اپنی اکنومک ایمپاورمنٹ کے لیے اپرچونیٹی کے لیے کوشش کرے اپنی ایڈوکیشن کے لیے اپنی ایلت کے لیے create an enabling environment policies کہ جس خاتون نے بھی بی اے اور بی ایسی ایم ایسی کر لیا ہم اس کو ڈائریکٹلی جوب دے دیں گے اٹلیسٹ کم از کم ایڈوکیشن اور ایلت کے سیکٹر میں انڈرڈ پرسنٹ جوب مست بی شل بی ایلوکیٹڈ فر وومن سوسائیٹی میں عورت کو اگر اس تکلیف دے صورتحال سے نکلنا ہے وی ہیو تو ٹیک بولڈ سٹیپس وقت کی کمی ہے آئی ہیو مینی پوائنٹس تو ڈسکس بٹ آئی ہیو ٹو تری پروپوزل Majabin, Maush Maisha Nauda. I discussed with the Aisha Saiba as well that we are here with the budget. Budget is a very important tool for overall development of our societies. In which we have education, health, infrastructure, all the things we see, where are the problems, and then we address them. Our budget comes in June. Balochistan has a PSDP over 100 billion. Development budget is our budget. Non-development وغیرہ کو ملا کے it's around 470 billion. So it's not a poor province. We have resources. اب commitment کیا چاہیے آپ خواتین میں سے جتنا سن رہی ہیں I don't know. That's why I was saying کہ آپ لوگوں کی attention چاہیے because you are the mechanics. You are the motor for change. آپ لوگوں نے علنا ہوگا. آپ نے کبھی دیکھا ہوگا کوئی اچھی دنی بھی اچھی گاڑی ہو جب اس کے سارے mechanics, motors, engine parts نہیں ہلتے In society, you are the motor part of our society. You are the body part of our society, women. آپ لوگوں نے ایک commitment کرنی ہوگی کہ جون میں آنے والے budget سے پہلے You have to have a launch, a strong campaign for pro-gender budgeting. For pro-woman budget. And the pro, what is pro-woman budget? The pro-woman budget shall be, number one, we have to address maternal mortality rate at, at all costs. We have to buy our houses, we have to make our houses, we have to make our houses, we have to sit on the ground, we have to make policy makers, we have to make our houses, we have to make our houses, we have to make our houses, unless Balochistan is not going to achieve within two to three years, four years, let's, let's follow the SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals. Let's, we have to achieve that there's going to be a zero maternal mortality. If zero can't be done, zero vision can't be done, at least we have to reduce it, even bring it closer to somewhere, to West Africa. Afghanistan ke barabar le aayin. The maternal mortality is highest in both, like Afghanistan or Balochistan, maternal mortality is highest in the world. Even in North Africa, there are more and more maternal mortality cases. Infant mortality is the same. I think there are doctors sitting in this maybe gathering, they know better and they can explain it. There are certain data and uh, aesthetics, they, they, are, they are not available. But what can we do with the pro-gender budgeting? We have to create equal number of schools We have to create equal number of schools for girls. That's it. Without that, you have said that we don't have to get up in front of the secretary. Do you women have this commitment? Do you do it or not do it? میں دیکھیں آپ نے اگر ایکول نمبر آف اسکول 
equal number of at, at least health facilities to, to, to stop or to reduce maternal mortality. And third, that there should be a special uh, women endowment fund. We have now different types of endowment funds. That if any business wants there should not be any restrictions, any barriers. So you have to create those business there should be a policy. I will support the government. The government opposition is not The overall society is suffering. The overall woman population in Balochistan is suffering. So we have to be one. Our thinking, our ideas, our actions, they had to be one. उसके बाद जाके हम शायद बलूचिस्तान में खवातीन के बसाइल को किसी न किसी तरीके से जो 8 मार्च नेक्स्ट होगा देन वी कैन हाईलाइट सर्टेन पॉजिटिव एस्पेक्ट्स कि जी हमने एक साल में ये इंटरवेंशंस किए ये रिसोर्सेज एलोकेट किए 1 2 3 4 5 वी रिड्यूस्ड मैटरनल मोर्टिलिटी दिस लेवल वी रिड्यूस्ड जेंडर वायलेंस टू दिस लेवल वी रिड्यूस्ड इलिटरेसी रेट टू दिस लेवल देन वी हैव टू सेलिब्रेट इट देन देयर इज गोइंग टू बी अ टाइम एंड आई थिंक मेरे दोस्त जफर भाई सोशल वेलफेयर के रूफ साहब बैठे हैं both of them are very committed and strong. They, they are providing very strong, uh, what they call it, bureaucratic leadership to the government of Balochistan. I have to say that the government of Balochistan is not going to be able to do the budget. It is not going to be able to do the level. Pe le Last time, I think Zafar Saab ki Mehrabani Majabin Shiram Sahib is mashallah, very much committed. I have to say that the government of Balochistan is not going to be able to do so there was a very nice program where we discussed this woman with different, differently able women. I don't use the word disability. I don't know. I like it. My UN colleagues are sitting there when I was in West Africa. So we used to use this, we use this new word that uh, differently able. So we have a huge population of differently able women in Balochistan. And unka to kisi ko pata hi nahi hai. They, we don't have any policy for them. We just consider them disabled. And uske baad to humare maashre ka se samjhe issa hi nahi hai. Even wo apne ghar ka aur khandan ka bhi issa karar nahi diya jate. So thank you very much for everyone. Oh. Yes, there are cultural everywhere in the world. My brother Andres is sitting here. He will tell you the tribalism does not only exist in Balochistan. When I was working in Sierra Leone, they have around 220 paramount chiefs. Am I right? You have a Council of Paramount Chief as well, and special assembly for Paramount Chief. In ke mulk mein, there is a special legislative body which overlooks the tribal, cultural, tradition matters. So I met one of this uh, very intelligent uh, gentleman. He's, uh, he's, he's a blind guy, he's a tribal, tribal chief. So very intelligent tribal chiefs. So the tribal issues, the taboos in society we do have. But since we are talking at a very large scale, provincial level, there is that the fault lines institutional are institutional first. You can break the tribal culture at that time. As I said, you can say that you are not that you are not a person of the time. You have liberated it psychologically. Financially, she will be liberated. The state has to do it. Tribal, even I myself am a very conservative man. In our tribal societies, we have these challenges, but the state is very powerful. State can create opportunities and environment where women will, inshallah, thrive one day, and definitely, particularly, women of Balochistan, which are in all fields. I hope that you will take this message, and later on, you women sitting here will create an action plan. After March 8, create an action plan, force us, policy makers, political representatives, bureaucrats, and they will come to their doors and they will come to their vision, the structure that I have said, the fault lines, they will try to address their questions. Once again, thank you very much to the Women Department for organizing such a wonderful International Women's Day seminar or workshop. Uh, thank you to the organizers. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.